Carthage is one of those places where you have the opportunity to be who you are and also learn who you're going to be. It's a place where you truly find yourself. Before I even went to Carthage, I received a flyer in the mail that Carthage had designed and I was looking to go into the graphic design program and I was looking at it and I'm like, wow, this is really amazing, you know, like if they can do this then they must have a great graphic design program. And now I work in the communications office making those same flyers that potential students get. And I find that's a great experience that I never thought I would be doing. One thing I did that I didn't think I would do was travel. I never was someone who ever traveled before college and I went on three J-term trips and I've been to Africa twice and Europe once so that was something I never ever thought was even possible for me. Before I came to Carthage I had never traveled really outside of the country and since being at Carthage I've traveled to a total of six countries. I never thought I was gonna like change my major. I was originally chemistry and then uh, I ended up switching to exercise and sports science uh, when I took a nutrition class because I just, I really enjoyed the class and it was something that I could see myself doing in the future. One of the best experiences I've had at Carthage is writing my senior thesis on sustainability accounting. Three nights that Christmas Fest happens, it's packed in the chapel every single night and, uh, and when the lights come up and the orchestra starts playing, it's, it's awesome every, every year. And so. Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy to be a part of that. I am currently working on and wrapping up a project that we are calling Space Phage. So we are looking to send bacteriophage into space uh, with NASA. I didn't think that I would find a place where I really fit in and four years later I've definitely found groups and clubs on campus where I'm not only a part of but I get to hold leadership position and having that experience is really valuable to me and has been something that I'm really grateful for. Being a part of the swim team here was really awesome. Um, the last year we won both the men's and women's conference championships together, which was pretty cool. One of my favorite experiences at Carthage was getting to go to Society for Neuroscience in San Diego and present my human neurophysiology research with another team of students and just getting to interact with really high level scientists and neuroscientists and you know, get to be up there with some of the big schools representing Carthage. I feel that my Carthage education has prepared me to be in a position where I can find something that I'm really looking for. And I'm grateful that I've had the opportunities and the experiences that I have just because I know that I'll be prepared for whatever does come next. I have a job as a neurofeedback technician um, in Naperville. So I'll be working with um, clients on training the physical aspects of their brain. I got a job at CNH Industrial. I am an e-commerce and digital marketing specialist with them. I am a resident playwright at a small theater in Waukegan, Illinois, um, where one of my shows is going up in October. Uh, so I'm going to be working there for a little while. I will be attending the University of Glasgow in Scotland for a master's program in art history, collecting and provenance studies in an international context. I'm going to be a graduate assistant as an assistant coach at Utica College in Utica, New York. So I actually just started a not-for-profit summer camp called Spark Summer Camp, and it is a STEM camp for girls uh, with the goal of getting more young women interested in STEM careers. And it's definitely something that I didn't expect to do in college, but I'm really excited about and really happy that I was able to do it. I'm going to be working at CME Group in Chicago as a compliance analyst. After this year, I'm moving to Copenhagen to pursue a master's degree in geography and geoinformatics. I just want to thank uh, Professor Greg Barron for reminding me what business was like and giving me the passion to go out in the world and really remember why I wanted to be in business. Coach Henry. He gave me the opportunity, and I would never have gotten this opportunity at a bigger school. Um, he let me run the decathlon this last year, and that's something I never thought I'd have the opportunity to do. I'd love to thank the school for giving me such a generous scholarship that allowed me to come here in the first place. I would like to thank the entire biology department for being instrumental in getting me where I am today. Making such personal connections with professors, um, I was able to get some really close, really great um, professional and personal relationships with some of the faculty here at Carthage. I'd like to thank uh, Dr. Sarah Jensen, who was one of my math professors. Um, I just, I feel like I learned so much and I, I became so passionate about math, watching her excitement and her um, commitment to teaching and math and learning and everything. Am I gonna miss? Um, <laughs> that's so tough. I'll miss a lot. 
Uh, I guess if I was going to sum it up in one thing, it'd be all the people, uh, all my friends. Great friends. People. The community. The faculty. Being able to walk down the street and almost always seeing somebody I knew. I almost always was able to say, hey, how's it going? Or wave to somebody, have either a really quick, hey, hello, okay, goodbye, or even just have a short conversation in between walking to classes. I have made connections that I think are really gonna last after graduation and hopefully for the rest of my life. And that's, that's never gonna happen again like that. That's really something that I'm gonna miss. Um, I'm just very blessed to have met the people that I have and Carthage helped me do that. Everyone's asking like, are you excited to graduate? Are you excited to graduate? And obviously I am, I'm ready for that next chapter in my life, but like having to leave it all behind is really, is really sad too.